everybody, I'm Ashley and Kaino from the My Best Self Project and welcome to your daily Tyroscope forecast for Monday the 28th of May. Happy Monday! Let's see how we're starting the week. So we have the Eight of Air. I love it. Breaking through. Uh, we have Unity and release. Ooh, this is deep today. So a quick overview of the energy. It really feels like it's time for you to really break through some kind of like fear or entrapment you have in your mind. And this possibly could even lead to the release of some kind of situation or person in your life. So let's really dig in here and see what's going on. We have the eight of air, an illusion of being trapped, a lack of self-confidence, afraid to take action. Very self-explanatory, this card. It really is about living in your own mind and the fears that you're feeling are really in your head. They're not legit at all. It's just an illusion you have created based off of a lack of self-confidence or some kind of fear. Uh, there's something you want to do and perhaps you're like, what will people say? Or you maybe feel like you're going to be ridiculed or people aren't going to understand. And this is about who gives a fuck about what other people think. You don't need them. You don't need their support to continue forward and shine your light, okay? And if there are people like that around you, it's time to get rid of them. And that's what's really coming out with the unity card here and release, funnily enough. But unity says traditional viewpoints are methods, spiritual organizations seek out like-minded friends and mentors. So basically, it's looking as though maybe you have people around you, some kind of group or social circle that is very judgy or naysayery, and you just kind of feel like you can't break through unless you step away from them or like you're just done with not having that kind of support and you're worried about what they will think and it's like they're not the type of friends you want in your life if you're worried about advancing yourself and doing something for yourself and thinking that they may judge you or talk about you behind your back. So Unity is saying this is most definitely about people around you and it's about seeking out the people that you want and need in your life about connecting to like-minded people. So if you're someone who's going down this spiritual journey and your other friends aren't getting it or judging you or saying you're different you've changed yeah you have you've changed for the better so get yourself out there go to places where you're going to find like-minded friends go to yoga go to like some kind of psychic development class whatever you need to do to find people and connect with them who are on that level do it now is the time to do that this could even be about perhaps you're like questioning your belief system that you were raised in, okay? Very scary to start going in your own direction with that. And I'm sure that's something a lot of us can, can relate to when we go down this spiritual journey, not really just spiritual because there's a big difference. And so we can find ourselves questioning a lot of how we were raised or feeling as though we're carrying some kind of shame when it comes to our family because perhaps we're like seeing it from the bigger picture and not so much of a religious dogmatic kind of indoctrination thing and so this is saying that like you need to really start surrounding yourself with people who connect with that so maybe go find some kind of spiritual organization some kind of spiritual church that supports all walks of life and belief systems and focuses on spirituality rather than religion like one religious type of following. And so I throw this in here every now and then. Look up a place called the Center for Spiritual Living. They're all over the US if you're in the US. They could even be in Canada. I know in the UK they have spiritualist centers as well. Um, this is a place where you're gonna find people from all faiths, all walks of life coming together to celebrate the universe energy, God, whatever you want to call it, but not in a way that's like following set religious texts as such, but really about trying to be the best version of you. That's where you're going to connect with like-minded people who are going to support you on this journey because you cannot live your life with these people who are like, don't get it and who you feel are judging you. You need to like break through, run forward, take action and really start finding these new people to connect with. And of course, release is just solidifying this. It's saying the end of a phase or situation, spiritual transformation, time to move on. This is really suggesting that you are going through a spiritual transformation right now, that you're seeing things from that higher perspective and realizing that maybe like what you're connecting with spiritually isn't necessarily connecting with how you've been raised as such. And it's raising very good questions. And you know what? It's not, I'm not saying step away from your religion. This stuff can complement your religion. What it does is it allows you to really see your religion from the spiritual perspective, which is what religion is really supposed to be about. It's not supposed to be about all these other kind of man-made rules in the middle of it. It's supposed to ultimately be about unconditional love and loving your neighbor and being the best person you can be, right? Being compassionate, non-judgmental 
And so going through the spiritual transformation elevates you when it comes to your religious beliefs, if that makes sense, rather than making you feel like you have to leave it. It's strengthening you and your beliefs, if anything. But it's simply saying that it's the end of a phase or situation when it comes to the social circles or groups you're connected to, and it's time to move forward into this new phase, and don't be afraid to do that. And the angel message of the day is cut your cords. It says, ask Archangel Michael to clear any old attachments to fear that stem from past relationships, freeing you from destructive patterns. So again, it really feels like it's groups of people here that you need to really cut your cords with that are just not supporting you or you're no longer resonating with. And it doesn't mean there has to be some kind of breakdown that you've been treated badly. It's just, that's life. We just drift and we connect to like different people who get us. And if you're not feeling like connection to anyone anymore, don't feel ashamed for wanting to move forward forward and explore new areas. It's time to release and move on. And in our affirmation of the day, it says, I let go of the shadow of the past by seeing someone for the first time with the eyes of love. I honestly feel like this is seeing yourself and your belief system through the eyes of love. Seeing that allowing yourself to guide yourself through your spiritual journey and not from the perspective of the pastor's perspective or the Bible's perspective or whoever you freaking believe in. It's about letting all that go and exploring this area yourself and using your own intuition to guide you and lean into that and know that you'll never truly guide yourself wrong when you're leaning into this from the perspective of love. So it's saying let go of all the negative stuff and start seeing this situation and seeing yourself in your journey through the eyes of love and knowing that that's what we're here to do is explore that. We're here to be spiritual beings having a human experience, not the other way around. Okay, you guys, I hope you enjoyed today's Tarascope. Please like, share, tag a friend, or subscribe, and comment. And I look forward to bringing your Tarascope tomorrow. Bye.